It's a fact you can make money by knowing what Elon Musk is going to say. Absolute fact, he sends a tweet out and it moves the market. Right now, we've got the purchase of Twitter and you could make money, let me explain. And also, of course, he's back in Dogecoin. It's official, he supports Dogecoin. Let's explain. Short video, let's keep you up to date with Elon Musk. Three o'clock in the morning in New York and Elon Musk was talking to Qatar where they've got a finance conference. And of course, you see Elon Musk at three o'clock in the morning and you think, wow, he's an incredible CEO. Or do you think he's a crazy CEO? He says three ways or three reasons or three blocks that will stop him getting Twitter. Right now, the share price is $38. He's bid 54. So the market actually right now doesn't think it's going to go through. Let's look at the three reasons. Number one, he says bots. They want Twitter to come clean with how many are fake accounts. Twitter says there's less than 5% are fake accounts. Musk says that can't be true. That's not the user experience. We'll see if that blocks it. Number two, he's got to raise the money. That seems to be a minor thing because lots of people will actually buy and back Elon Musk. Number three, he says the shareholders have got to vote. Well, the major shareholders have always said that they back the bid at this price. Will it go through? Well, if you think it will, and the market thinks it won't, then of course, there's massive upside to buying Twitter shares. That's not advice, I'm just giving you the facts. What about Dogecoin? When it was trading at 70 cents for a Dogecoin, when he backs it, he supports it. And right now, there's a group of people suing him because they said he overhyped it. He says, no, just I support Dogecoin. There's people that own it and they persuaded me that Dogecoin is a good idea. So I've just been talking about it. Of course, he's allowed people to buy at Tesla and SpaceX with Dogecoin. So he's definitely backing it, he's supporting it. He thinks that he actually has less volatility than Bitcoin and of course uses less energy. But right now, we've seen a massive price. It was 70 cents, it's trading at 66, so 0.066. Okay, it's 10% up over the last 24 hours. But when Musk says he supports it, will it go up? An interesting fact is that he says that if he buys Twitter, he'll make crypto payments available on Twitter. So just think, if you could actually pay for things, perhaps using a direct message, would you use Twitter more? If you could actually enhance the platform, which is used by 250 million people, as opposed to looking at something like Facebook, which is over 3 billion, then would you use Twitter? Would you feel that that perhaps could be the platform? platform for you. It's interesting. Elon Musk is always fascinating. And one thing that I took from him talking is as a CEO, he concentrates on the product. So when he is saying to people, Tesla, SpaceX, how can you concentrate on all these companies and Twitter? He says, I just concentrate on making great products. I let the company be run by other people. My job is to work on the product and make the product awesome. Great companies have great products. Cool. Okay, that's a good one from Elon Musk, the richest man in the world. Concentrate on the product, make it super good. That's what we do at Devere. Make sure we've got some great products available, some new ones coming. So I'm going to be talking about those fairly obviously, but nevertheless, interesting what Musk says about making money. Would you bet on Musk? Okay, would you invest in Tesla? Share prices down. Would you buy into Twitter on the basis he's going to take it over? And would you speculate, I use that word, speculate on Dogecoin because Elon Musk says that he supports it. You make your own mind up. I like you. However, you always subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please like, please share the video. Elon Musk, fascinating character. I'll talk about what it takes to make money and what's going on in the financial industry on a day-to-day -day basis.